is Mary Jo Pfeiffer, and I am the owner of The Vintage View in downtown Palmer. At The Vintage View, you could find anything that you would be looking for. You will find things here that you will not find anywhere else, and you will find things here that you will find everywhere else. So it's just a matter of your choice whether you want to visit our shop and explore or if you are on a mission and you come to the front desk and say, this is exactly what I'm looking for, do you have it? The Vintage Market came about when a group of merchants decided that shabby chic was really becoming popular. And instead of referring to us as an antique area, that we could diverse a little bit from that by doing the shabby chic furniture. Um, some of us have become more apt at doing it than others but we have found that a group of people follow that particular line of furniture. And so if we could draw those people to downtown, we could draw those customers to our shops and also our eateries downtown because they would plan to spend three or four hours here during the day. We have a wonderful uh, clock collection that is managed by an older gentleman who is a fanatic about his clocks. He comes in on a daily basis, he says hello to every one of them, and he winds the ones that need winding. One of my vendors is a, a Disney collector and he every once in a while gets an overload and will bring some things in the shop to sell. And we do find that snowbirds and tourists who visit our shop will are amazed that we have some things that they have seen at Disney, forgot to pick up, and will be able to get it here, pack it in their suitcase and take it home. Tea shops have become um, pretty popular recently and the ladies uh, in connection with Downton Abbey have decided now that they will dress up to go to tea. So we do have vintage hats and gloves and purses and we find customers coming in looking for that perfect hat to go with their outfit so they can have tea with their other 10 friends. <laughs> Almost every item that I have could be unusual in somebody's eyes. Cigar ashtrays have become very popular which is amazing to me, but there are a lot more cigar shops popping up around. You have these big box stores and furniture stores that are popping up all over. However, their furniture is usually a two-year lifespan and it ends up at the curb. So people come to me and their main question is, find me a dresser made of wood that I can paint or stain and it will stay in my son's room until he goes to college. So part of that is the older furniture is made better, lasts longer, you can do more with it. And some people are willing to part with it. So that's where I come in to pick it up. And they come in and the first thing they ask in the, when they walk in the door, do you have a dresser? I was in the, the law practice for 40 years in Illinois. So this is a whole new ball game when we moved to Florida. I do love garage sailing. And after a while, you accumulate more than you can use, which is how this shop evolved. The city is a very, very big help to the downtown merchants. I have evolved from a small shop into this shop, and I cannot tell you how it has grown in the past 10 years. I, I don't, from landscaping to the uh, CRA, which aids merchants in the facade improvement of the front of their shops. This is a whole, this is what people see when they come to downtown. They see the front, they see the landscaping. They don't see what goes on behind the back door. So it's a wonderful thing that people are jumping on board and helping develop what we have as the most beautiful lakefront in, in Lake County. The greatest reward is to have somebody come in and find exactly what they're looking for. We also have a wish book where people can leave their items that they are looking for and to call somebody on the phone and say, hi Pat, this is Mary Jo from the Vintage View and I have found the item that you were looking for. Come in and pick it up. And the smile on their face is just amazing.